hello youtube in this video we will be discussing the reasons that why the rotor in case of induction motor has skewed copper bars like in this case they have a skewed copper bars and the copper bars are never made vertical like in this case and why is that basically you'll have two advantages if you skew the copper bar in case of induction motor first you'll have a uniform torque and the second one is that you will be able to reduce the magnetic humming while running so before discussing the reasons that why will you get these two advantages let's see what happened to the stator of an induction motor where when you give the ac supply to it so this is an a shaded pole induction stator as you can see here you have a shaded coil here is a copper bar plus you have a copper winding done here so there are four stationary electromagnets whose winding have been done like here it is clockwise anti clockwise clockwise anti clockwise why is that the basic idea is that the two adjacent pole at any time should have different polarities that is if this is north this should be south this should again be north and this south so what happens when we give the supply to it because of the phase splitting due to the shaded area here there is a rotating magnetic field that has been produced although the poles are stationary but you will still have a effect that the flux will be so adjusted so as to give you a rotating magnetic field like in here here it is if you imagine that this has become our north pole and this is south this is north this is south so the magnetic field our imaginary poles would be rotating again and again what would what would be the speed with which it would be rotating the speed would be 120 f upon p where n is is the speed of rotating magnetic field and please do mind the speed n is this is the speed of rotating magnetic field and not the speed of the rotor the speed of the rotor in case of induction motor is always less than the speed of magnetic field f is the frequency and p is the number of poles like i have shown here here is the north pole here is the south pole this is our imaginary poles that has been created in our stator this would be rotating again and again and the speed with which it would be rotating is n is like in this example if f is 50 hertz p is 2 your speed is 3000 rpm with number of poles p equal to 2 you can have maximum speed like in case of 50 hertz the maximum speed that you can get in an induction motor is 3000 rpm whereas in case of synchronous motor the speed of rotor as well as the speed of magnetic field they both are equal but in induction motor as i have already said that the speed of the rotor is less than the speed of the magnetic field due to slip that is a different concept and i will not talk about the slip in this video but let's see our reasons in this case we have our, the copper bars are skewed whereas in this case this is the imaginary rotor that i have created you will never see this type of rotor in the market because they never create the rotor with vertical copper bars so if they would have made this type of rotor what would happen to this and what would have been effect in this case like in this case for example let us imagine if our magnetic if our imaginary magnetic pole is here there would be a flux that would be in this direction because of which the current would have been induced in the copper bar in this direction and there would be a force in this direction what is this it's a magnetic it's a flaming left hand rule we have a magnetic field in this direction current in this direction there would be a force in this direction due to this force our rotator would have been forced to rotate in this direction but what after a moment of time our imaginary pole would have been above this area which do not have any copper bar there would have been our imaginary magnetic pole which would have been created of flux but there would have been no current because there is no copper bar in here 
in which the current could have been induced. So there would have been no force. But the rotor would be forced to rotate because of inertia. Again, there would have been same situation. There is copper bar. There would have been flux, current and force. So the rotor, rotor would have been rotated. Like in this case. But due to uneven distribution of copper bars, a torque would be non-uniform. Whereas in this case, there is no area you can see here although there is a very small area but the copper bar has been skewed so there would have been a magnetic field there would be always be a current because there is no area if you take this vertical area there is always a copper bar under the magnetic field which will force the rotor to rotate uniformly and that's why it will not create humming noise while rotating whereas in this case it would be creating humming noise so that was the reasons why the copper bars in a motor is skewed and the force with which which would be applied in this case would be equal to b i l where f equal to force on rotor i is current in copper bars and l is the length of copper bar under magnetic field so this is the force the magnitude magnitude of force that would be applied on rotor. So that was the concept. Thank you very much.